Hello. Hello, everyone. So I'm back with creating a new sculpture, part two. If you didn't watch part one, it's still available. I build it up all this face live streaming here on YouTube. Hello, hello. And now we're gonna finish uh, the sculpting part and next week we can paint. So, hello, hello. So again, this is not anyone, it's just a person that we are creating here together. Hello, I'm good. Thank you. And I am pretty much done with the face. Now just need to add some more symmetry and the nose is big. Yeah, we can do some couple changes here. I don't want it to be anyone specific, so it doesn't really need to have a thin nose or anything like that. Hello, hello, Colombia. Hello. So I'm just working now on some symmetry, which also does not need to be perfect because we are not symmetric. Usually we are not completely symmetric. And I don't know if uh, it's someone that was in the last, yes, two days ago in the other life. Uh, I don't know if some, someone is still here, but um, you guys asked me for a weird, mad guy. So that it is. Yeah, I think so too. Just the eyebrow, there's a little, uh, we need more volume here. Um, our, it's too square. You have to put more volume here. Um, yeah, I can I can try to make Selena. I can I portraits take me at least fifteen days, and I have um, some projects going on. So if I have the time, I will try to make everyone you guys request. But I would love to make everyone you guys request, but it's just not enough time. I am going to do Michael Jackson. He is probably he'll, he will be my next sculpture. My two girls are asking me for Michael Jackson like every day. And the problem is one of them wants Michael Jackson in the thriller phase and the other one wants Michael Jackson in another phase that I can't remember. So we are having this impasse. I'm going to put push my phone a little bit farther because it's touching the table and it's moving with the table. So there we go. So I'm just giving a little bit of more volume to the eyebrow and giving a right uh, anatomy here. Um, yes, yes, this is polymer clay. Um, I have to bake it to get dried. I am not making anyone uh, that exists. We are making up a face and you guys are helping me out to decide what we're gonna do with this face, just as practice and you guys can watch me sculpting. Yeah, as a zombie, <laughs> as a werewolf. So if he's mad, it needs to have some more volume here. I think his eyebrows are way too far from his eyes. I'm gonna bring it down a bit. No, no, I have every color clay here. I sculpt in very different color clays. 
um, depending on the person I'm making, it's a different color. And also I mix up a couple different colors. Male have the eyebrow much closer to the eyes than females. So sometimes when I'm making a female and then right away I make a male, I tend to bring the eyebrow too high. So that's more mad. So I'm making mad because you guys uh, next less less live. That was the request. Yes, he is angry. He's very angry, and he also supposed to look weird. Uh, angry. I started about nine years ago when I made my own cake topper and people told me that's what I should do for a living because I had moved to Canada and I was an actress in Brazil but when I moved here I didn't really speak English so I could not act and that's pretty much how I started I think maybe it still could go down even more Um, well, I didn't have to move to Canada. I came to visit my sister. She lived in Canada and my mom. They all lived in Canada. I came to visit them and then I met my husband. And then I moved here. I am Brazilian, yes, that's correct. That looks much more creepy. No, this is not dental. This is a uh, steel. How do you call it? like the Superman guy steel? <laughs> Same thing as Superman is made of steel. I don't know this word because it sounds like uh, stealing, and but it's not stealing. It's like steel, like a kind of a metal. My accent is bad for saying this word too. Um, so. It's not a dental. This one is a dental. Those are my two favorite tools, this and this. I pretty much just use them. Yeah, I know, but my accent is bad for saying steel. I think. So now he looks much more angry, and all I did was bring his eyebrow closest, closer to his eye uh, because males have the eyebrow closer to the eye, more than females, and he's a male, so. All right, details are, now we're just gonna give details, and that's, uh, this part takes, could take very long, sometimes it's faster, sometimes it takes forever. It really depends on what we're trying to do. And if we reach that, uh, you know, sometimes you just do it and that's exactly what you wanted. Sometimes you do something and it's not exactly what you want. So spend a little bit of more time until we get exactly what I want. At least this is me. This is how I work. I really try, when I put something in my head that this is what I want, or if I'm making a portrait, I don't stop until I really love it. So sometimes people say, oh, you're so good. It's not that I'm so good, it's that I'm stubborn. And I keep on working on it until I really like it. So what I want here is him to be looking up, kind of like, you know, like this creepy guys. We need more light in here. 
uh, like, looks like up, like a murder eyes. Of course, with time, if you are stubborn and you really, really try hard to get better and to get what you want in each sculpture, you just can't be stubborn uh, in a point that you can't finish your work. At some point, you have to say, okay, I'm going to finish here. And this is what I will have this time. And next time, I'll try to get it better. Otherwise, you will never finish your project. So you can't let the perfectionism get on the way of finishing your project. So other than that... I'm pretty stubborn and perfectionist and I stay. If I need to spend a month on a sculpture, I will. And yeah, wow, look at that. Oh, maybe we can keep one eye closer and one eye more open. Do you guys like that? Yeah, I sold a lot of sculptures, but usually I don't sell those ones that I make for myself. Usually I sell customized ones. I used to sell the sculptures that I made. Like I sold some of my old sculptures and then I stopped selling when I wanted to make a collection for my music, musician and stuff like that. And now, but now they're all going, to, most of them are going to a gallery in London and they're going to be sold there. Okay, so even if this skin is falling over the eye, this still needs to exist underneath like that. And then we bring it up, but you still have to do it. It still exists down there. Yes, I do sell by request. Not always. I don't you don't uh, take orders all the time. Sometimes I take a break of taking orders. Sometimes I go back and taking orders. Because sometimes if you take too much orders, then you kind of cannot create anything, and uh, can get really frustrating. Just taking orders for an artist that wants to create. So. Now I'm gonna actually mark the eyebrow because this was not, this is not eyebrow, this is under the eyebrow. And the eyebrow, it's going to be here. Uh, this is polymer clay and the brand that I'm using is PV clay. It's a Brazilian brand and it's my favorite. Thank you. The eyes doesn't happen anything. They are bakeable as as much as the the clay. If it's in the same temperature that the clay needs to be baked, those eyes can handle temperature, so they will be fine. They might get a little bit more yellow, but it's still fine. Some eyes get more yellow than others, and it depends on the resin or on the material that the eye is made. These eyes, these eyes I made myself, and the resin I used is really good. It almost doesn't change color. 
so I'm hoping that it won't. I have two channels. I have a channel in Portuguese and I have this channel. Portuguese one is much older. This one I started when I finally uh, had the guts to speak English in public. Because when I moved to Canada, my English was terrible. It's still not good, but I'm good enough for you guys to understand. I know I make a lot of mistakes, but... That's creepy, eh? This eye. Much more creepy. No, I do not use airbrush. I actually don't know how to use airbrush. I would love to learn. This is actually something on my list. Learn how to paint with airbrush. Uh, there are a few things that I want to learn and still, I just need to find the time really. I am a mom of three kids. Well, one of them is already older, but the other ones are pretty young. Uh, and they are still my priority. So I have to find the time to do my studies when I, when I can. Right now they are too young and I already work. But yet, yeah, airbrush is something I want to learn. Also, I want to change uh, clay. I want to learn different types of clay. I've been working, I worked with cold porcelain when I started and I've been working with polymer for a while. Now I started using some epoxy clay as well. Uh, and I want to go for plastiline or I want to try chavant and other kind of clay like that. I just, you know, once you already have all the material and you already know, it's just you have the structure. I have all the polymer here and I already know how to do it and and then I just kind of get lazy to do the movement to change. I think this has to come. Is that creepy? Is that creepy enough? I think so. Do you guys have enough light? Boa noite, olá Brasil. Okay, now I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna keep this eye more open than this one. So he's more creepy. You know, when we open one eye and the other one, we close a bit. I get a lot of requests to make people, but I can't. Hi ho, hi ho. <laughs> I always laugh when I say that. Ho, my ho is my student from Patreon. She takes my online classes. Okay. And she's also a sculptor. Hi ho, hi ho, hi ho. <laughs> We can make, uh, I can show you guys how to make like, because we have the teeth already there from the skeleton. We could use these teeth and just paint them. 
but uh, a lot of the times I just um, add a different clay here and make different teeth, especially if I'm making portraits because I want to make the teeth looking like the person as well, so I can't just use the skeleton teeth. I know, yeah, yellow works good, but he's, this teeth are kind of like very perfect teeth. We could make kind of like a messed up teeth. That would also be cool. Right, somebody asked me for a scar. He's nobody, we're just making him right now. We're creating his face together. You guys can give me suggestions. James Bond, yes, uh, yes, I am familiar, but I don't really like adventurous movies. I like independent movies better. I'm kind of uh, the movies I like are not uh, super popular, especially in Canada, but they are very popular in Europe. I like Almodovar; he's actually my favorite director. Slight smirk. Oh my gosh, I don't know what means smirk. Do you have another word for it, maybe, that I understand, that I know what it is? A small smile. Uh, yeah, this side. This side, right? Oh my gosh, it's going to look creepy. It's going to look like a murder. Half smile, okay. Okay. Uh. gonna be cool well yeah he is a creepy that that was the intention from the beginning to make a creepy I need more clay. With a cigar. Or oh, it's gonna end up being Wolverine. <laughs> Who are we creating? A mustache? Well, mustache I would put after, like after it's painted and everything, then I'll put the mustache. We could put now, but I that's how I like to work. I feel more comfortable uh, to put mustache and beard and 
hair, like eyebrow, everything after painting it. So at some point we're going to have to decide, okay, that's enough. Otherwise we're going to be here changing this face forever. <laughs> I don't know. We can decide together what kind of hair. How about that? John Peters. It looks like him. Can even make up a story for him. Full thing. I think so. I think I could scope the, everything that I want to try and work hard and some of them are going to turn out better than others. Some of them might not even turn out good at all. And then we keep on working and keep on trying to get better and better. I really put this eye very close to the nose. It's getting me without space here too work. I'm going to pull the eye a little bit farther here. There. Now it start to look like um, this smile here and this lip start to look like a Oh my gosh, what's his name? I'm terrible with names. The guy that made Grease. The actor that played Grease. John Travolta. <laughs> this part here. Okay, what else? Half smile, wrinkles, it's going to be old, old guy, young guy, let's put some skinny, I think chicks make it look too, chubby cheeks make him look more, I don't know the name in English, but nicer. I'm going to make skinny here. Hello, Homanian. You see, we change a little thing and then he already doesn't look like this person. He started looking to someone else and it's cool. We could be here forever changing and making different face, but at some point we have to say, okay, that's what we want. Yes, I always film and scope at the same time. I do all by myself. All the videos you see here, I recorded by myself. I edited by myself and I scoped it by myself. Usually at the same time with my kids around me and my dog and my kids requesting me to do something. I used to have a cat, but she ran away. Hello, I'm actually also in a very cold snowing place in Canada right now. <laughs> I'm in St. Catharines, close to Toronto. How do you guys like that? 
I want to show you guys how I smooth it out because this is something that a lot of sculptors have trouble with. So that's something you guys could be learning. Oh yeah, oh, here is always cold. I'm already not even expecting anything different. I am going to London soon. I still didn't buy my tickets, but I'm going to London as soon as this all this snow goes away and the traffic gets better. I'm gonna bring my sculptures there. If we give him a, how do you call this, dimple? Here, he looks like uh, John Travolta now. <laughs> I still need to work on the symmetry. The symmetry is awful. I have a lot of tutorials on the page. A lot of people tell me that they watch me sculpture and they get sculpting and they get inspired to sculpt. Well, take a look at my whole channel. Like there's a lot of tutorials. There's like full class tutorial showing anatomy. I made Emmy Winehouse live streaming and I let I released the class in here. Full class. So if you're a beginner, I go really slow and I explain everything. I'm not going to keep the tempo. It was just to show how I can see John Travolta here. I'm just giving some symmetry to this chin. Here I always uh, have to work the symmetry after. That's the last thing because this is where I keep my thumb. I always tell that to my students and it always gets like bad so i leave that to do last that is fixing this side of the face i don't know that's the only place i can keep my thumb always gets i try to hold differently already and just without noticing my thumb is back there i am sculpting madonna right now she's right beside me here looking at me waiting to be sculpted Okay. So uh, I gave him the smile one side and this eye must uh, get a little bit of more clay. Peppa Pig. That's a hard one, actually, Peppa Pig. I've seen people trying to scope her and the results are not. <laughs> search it. Search it, guys. Search it on Google. Peppa Pig uh, figurine or put uh, Biscuit Peppa Pig and you will see, or Cold Porcelain Peppa Pig. You'll see some weird stuff. <laughs> She, people have a problem with making her nose there. It looks like something else. I 
Have you guys <laughs> searched that already? <laughs> Okay, he looks creepy. I think his nose is too. I'm gonna uh, get this a little bit less open. I like his eyes now. They're pretty creepy. Okay. So this one, we took the chick out. Cheek. So I mean, I have to do the same the other side. We still didn't do that. Are we gonna make up a scar somewhere? Oh my gosh, I think I got an eye stuck on his face. No, it's not an eye. <laughs> okay, I like that. Scar. In the eye. Jackie Chain has a scar. Oh, does he? Okay, we're almost done. I just have to do this side now, symmetric, the face. I'm not gonna worry about symmetry with the eyes and lips because he has kind of a different facial expression. And his two eyes. This eye looks smaller though. So this cannot happen, bone showing here. So if I'm making a portrait and this is happening, the bone is showing in the wrong side, in the wrong spot, what I do is I sand the school down to stop showing. So usually I have a skull, I put the skull in front of the picture of the person that I'm going to make. And I can see already that that is a bone that needs to be sent before I start the face. So I just go and sand it. So if I see that the person doesn't have a lot of cheekbones and my sculpture, my skull has more cheekbones than the person that I'm gonna make, then before starting sculpture, I go sculpting, I go there and sand it. A lot of the times for female, I have to sand the, the jaw because this is more of a male skull and uh, the jaw can be bigger for women than it should for females, so I have to send it down. Or I just make up, get a smaller sculpt skull and make a bigger face on a smaller skull. That also works. Just add m more clay to it. Okay, now I'm going to work on the symmetry here, and it is absolutely off. Oops, I got a bubble here. You have to be very careful also with air bubbles, because if you don't remove them, 
if you have air bubble like air between the skull and the clay when you bake you're gonna get like a little moonies that we call it's the air trying to come out and kind of like crack the the clay uh, I posted all John uh, Johnny Depp class on my Portuguese channel I finished it's all in there for free but it's a very very old technique when I just started sculpture sculpting it's very very old it's like nothing that I used anymore but and it's called porcelain as well uh, but it's a technique that I created to help my students to understand likeness because people in Brazil need to learn likeness so they can make uh, customized cake toppers and uh, a lot of my students had a hard time to understand what needs to be paid attention to it so I got this technique that you build over a picture until at least until you you can do it without it's kind of like a first step into it it's in my Portuguese channel yeah there's still a lot to do for um, symmetry here it's not perfect but that kind of takes some time and because he has different facial expression, we don't really need to do exactly like. But here, sorry, I missed this question. I missed the question. I don't think YouTube shows everything you guys say. I put available a super chat. I don't really know what that means. But YouTube asked me if I wanted to put the super chat available and I did, but I'm not really sure how it works. A tutorial. Super chat means people can give you donations. Oh, I thought you guys could uh, could be on the camera with me. <laughs> I don't really. I'm terrible with the internet stuff. I don't like this side of the mouth. Yes, Julia? Mm -hmm. Put the subtitles on. Where is Dada? Dada's home. Can you go ask him? Because mommy's live streaming right now. Oops. No, I'm almost done, actually. I'm going to smooth it out and see what, it ha what happens. Unless you guys want me to put something else on his face. But I think that's good. Just for you guys to have an idea of face sculpting or how I do things and it doesn't need to be perfect I'm not I'm not even sure if I'm gonna bake this face but I kind of like it already the rock You guys like it? I don't know if we should keep on changing this face anymore because then uh, it's going to take some 
more time and I kind of want to show you guys the painting too. A lot, he has lots, PD, what's PD? No, he's not quite symmetrical. Well, this eye, I wanted to make it more open than this one. So we can even make it more to be more obvious. And this mouth here, I actually am not happy with this side of the mouth. That's pretty much all. I have to take this. The problem is that, oh my gosh, I dropped my lamp. <laughs> I made a hole on the skull and dropped my lamp. There. That's better. Okay, I like him already. Yeah. He can. I just need to fix this side of the lip now. There. There you go. Now I'm happy with that. I'm not happy that the bone is showing here, but this is also something we could solve with painting. I'm just gonna bring a little bit of more clay there. Try to work a little bit on the symmetry here. And that's it. And then we're going to smooth it out. And if I have to work a little bit more on the symmetry after, I'll just do it before we paint, before I bake and paint. But at least you guys get to see all the phases because symmetry is something that takes me time. I'm slow with that. I like to look in all the directions and, okay. So now that we have that, we could make uh, textures, wrinkles, textures, and other stuff. So to smooth out is to begin with, I go with the tool. Like I really, really use my tool to smooth it out. Just uh, fixing all the little detail on the shape before I actually go for smoothing it. Because once you go with the tool, besides uh, smoothing, you also end up fixing details and make it more clear what you want, like I just did with the smile. See, I smoothed and I gave him a better smile, in my opinion. So I really like using my tool, but obviously the tool has limitation. It's not going to smooth the whole thing out. So at some point I have to use chemic to smooth it out. And I don't like sanding. I, I really, really don't like sanding the sculpture after it's ready and baked. So I really, do my best to don't have to sand anything. Hi. Sanding is something that I really, really don't like.
All right. That looks cool. Hi, TJ. What's, what was your question? I did not see it. Sorry. So while you rewrite your question, hello, uh, I'm going to start smoothing out. So even though he's not perfectly symmetric, but we will start smoothing out and then slowly I'll, I'll give the symmetry after because that's something that takes me time. But anyway, so I'm vegan. I don't know if uh, you guys know that, but I am vegan. And I try to always use vegan material and as natural as I can. So to smooth out, I use coconut oil, believe me or not. That's what I use to smooth it out. And But the coconut oil, because it's cold here, I get the skull at Apollo store uh, in Brazil. You can find the, web, the link on my website. Uh, so this is very hard right now. So I'm going to heat it up with my heat gun because to smooth out, I want it to be liquid. And because of the cold in Canada and my studio is in the basement, so it gets pretty hard. That's why I use coconut oil. And now it's melted down and now I can use it to smooth it out. Hello. So here it is. And then with the coconut oil, I just, with my brush, start adding coconut oil all over the face. And um, another tip here is I always try to go in the direction of what I'm doing. Sorry, I hit the phone with my brush. This is going to make the clay soft on the surface and the brush is going to be able to move the clay around and get connected like the little, I don't know how to say that, like it's going to smooth <laughs> pretty much that. So that's not something that a lot of people use. I, I don't know if there is any other artist that use coconut oil to smooth it out. Um, no, I never use that. And again, it's because I'm vegan. So I always try to use natural stuff that I know it's not animal products and it does not test on animals. And also I have kids in the house, so if I can have something that is not toxic, then I'll go for it. Of course, not always is possible, but at least I try my best. But coconut oil works pretty good, you'll see. It's already getting pretty smooth. So a lot of people ask me how long it takes me to make a one full sculpture. Oh, really? Go gone? Go gone? I've never heard about it. I can take a look at it. It's just coconut oil is so available because I used to cook. I use it in my skin. I use it for everything. So just easy. When you make sculptures, when... Um, you can find tutorials here. If you go to my playlist and find how to scope a face, full face tutorial, the first video, the introduction I tell about, I talk about the molds, I talk about the skull and everything and the eyes. There's much more clay this side than that one. Also, when we smooth out, the thing that happens is that helps to see the symmetry better. So a lot of the times I smooth out and then I work on the symmetry and then I'll smooth out again.
You do? Oh, TJ uses coconut oil. I never seen anyone that used coconut oil before. It's pretty good. Any kind of oil you can use, it's, it's good. Um, I don't use uh, watercolors to paint. I use Genesis because I like better to bake before I paint. So I use Genesis. I already used, I already painted before baking, but the thing is, it works good unless we have texture on the skin and then you don't want, if you paint with the texture, it can, you can kind of run the, the, the texture a bit out when you paint before baking. And then if you bake, the texture is going to be there and then you can paint like without any fear to remove the texture while you're painting. That's why. I know, I do have plans, actually, I do have plans to do that. Um, I don't know if I can do that myself, but if I find someone around here that wants to work with me to do the, the skeletons to sell, then I will do it. Because I know shipping uh, from Brazil, it's very, very expensive. It's not the store fault. It's not Apollo store fault. It's because it's there's just the fees in Brazil. This is how much they charge. The, the shipping there is really, really expensive. So here I noticed that it's too much clay once it's smoothed out. So I'm just removing a bit before I keep on going with the smooth. I like him. Um, and yeah, I will. I, I am. I do have plans to make the skeletons and eyes and everything to sell, but it's just really, really hard. Um, but you know what? Something you guys can do. Apollo Store also sells the molds. So you don't need to buy uh, one skull every time. You just buy the mold and then you can cast on resin or on clay or on whatever you want. And then you can make as many skulls as you want. So instead of buying the skull, you buy the mold. Okay, so now that I have the coconut oil done, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this oil from it, from the face so I can see better what I have because sometimes the oil, um, too much oil hides the, the problems. So I'm gonna use isopropyl 99% at Apollo store, in the same place that I get the skeletons, you can get molds. And then you're, it's, uh, it's the mold of the same skeletons that I use and, they, and that I, I sculpted them myself. So now I'm gonna put the isopropyl to clean up this oil out. And then I can actually see the clay better. Yeah, we need um, kind of a lot of isopropyl. If I use a lot of, if I use a lot of uh, coconut oil, then I have to use a lot of alcohol isopropyl to clean up. If I don't use a lot of uh, coconut oil, then I don't need a lot of isopropyl to clean up. The best one for me is the 99%. It works better. It also makes the piece smooth. But I use more to clean up the alcohol and then unhide things that the alcohol might hide. I also use my fingers a lot to smooth out when I don't have texture. No, I never use monster clay. What kind of clay is that? Is it good? People always ask me if this is monster clay. I don't really know what it is. And alcohol also is good to clean up the dust and like little hairs that get stuck from your clothes. Alcohol, it's remove it easy from it. That's it, guys. This is already nice and smooth to me. We didn't add any 
wrinkles or texture or anything. We kept it simple. I can add some uh, texture to the lips at least because this is a big face. So we should have texture, add texture everywhere actually. He turned out young and not so creepy, a little bit creepy. Could be creepier. Next one, we make it creepier or make a female, I don't know. There we go. So that's it for the smooth out. And you can stay here as long as you want. And it's better to spend some time smoothing out then you don't have to sand after then don't spend a lot a lot of times here and then have to sand out your sculpture because when you sand it out i don't know sometimes i feel it gets way too smooth and it's kind of like not real and it's much more time consuming and i don't like sanding i really don't like sanding Okay, that's it. So for next week, if you guys really like these lives, if you want me to keep on going with the lives, uh, send a comment, I don't know, send me some signs that you really like it. Uh, no, that's not to add texture. Uh, if you use a harder brush, then you can add texture with that but this is not really going to add any texture. If you want to add texture, you really have to go with uh, texture, different textures technique. Uh, usually for texture, you put a little uh, thin plastic in front of your sculpture and you can get the sand to make, to poke some holes on the nose or uh, put the plastic and scratch, scratch the with the tool and make the the skin textures. It doesn't give texture, but it doesn't leave super smooth, you know? So I kind of like it. So if you guys like these lives, if you want me to keep on doing them, uh, give it a like, leave me a comment. So I know, because sometimes I think this can be quite boring. So I don't really get very stimulated to keep on doing those lives. Because sculpting can get quite boring. Of course, the making of videos are amazing, but the real-time sculpting can be very boring uh, for people that are just watching, I think. But... Uh, you guys leave a comment, like the video, or a message, I don't know, whatever you can to let me know that you want me to keep on doing this kind of videos. And if you do, next week I will come back and then I can, I can do that once a week and we can paint this face and I can paint it live. And then you guys can see the painting process and then you see a lot of changes here. Maybe we can add some beard. We did not add the scar because it's been already a long time. Uh, so I don't want to keep on changing this face for too long. And if you guys like, we can make different faces and keep on doing different stuff. Okay. So yeah, let me know. I really like if you guys interact with me and tell me what you would like to see. So I can understand better uh, you guys wishes and the kind of people that follow me here because honestly I don't really know if a lot of people that follow me here are sculptors or most people just want to see the process of sculpting because it's interesting so that's it this is the face we got it and we can work on it next week all right so let's set up for every Wednesday every Wednesday Wednesdays are I like to have a day of the week so I prepare myself to do it so every wednesday between five to six o'clock this is the best time because my husband is home and he can watch after the kids okay oh okay <laughs> all 
All right, guys. So if you have any questions, you can also make a comment. I try to read everything. I don't really have time to always read everything, but I try my best. Uh, and if you do want to have full classes from full, full sculptures, you can join me on Patreon. It's only $10 per month and you can uh, watch all the classes that I've already made in there and you can also participate on the new ones. I give classes there once a week right now and they're like one to two hours class and I am making full sculptures. So I have John Lennon, I have Dracula there is already there and a lot of other stuff. So it's only $10 per month and you can join me and become my close student. All right. Okay, guys. See you all next week. Uh, around between six, uh, five and six, Toronto time. That's the best time for me because then I know my husband is home and he can watch after the kids. Okay. And I will always, uh, I will leave a, a message on the community here. So follow the community, follow the channel, and you will be 